G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Back on the Bilberman track and heading to the Rang Shelter. Let's go and have a look. Made it to the Narang Shelter, one of my favourite. Let's go and have a look around. Narang Shelter is one of the old wooden type shelters, which are my favourite. We have a lovely, large, let's say a communal picnic bench. So anybody, everyone's here sitting on that and having a chat. It's the old bunk bed style. So we're going to be able to fit between 12, 15 at a squeeze. Got the rake so you can clean up all the gravel. A broken broom, which is a bit of a bugger, but that's to sweep the bunks and everywhere to keep it clean and tidy for the next person as well as yourself. And here we have the log books or the tracks and trails log book. All you do is sign in there to say where you come from and also where you're going a few other details and how many days it's going to take you so if anything happens they can come and pick you up or find out where you are in between shelters and get you out quicker there's one water tank let's see if there's one on the other side no just that one anything behind no, just that one water tank. Some garden chairs there. And there's some more here. It's the only shelter I've been to that <laughs> they've got the plastic chairs provided. A little bit more comfortable. Somebody's either forgot their toilet roll or left it on purpose. It looks more like they forgot it. So hopefully they've got loo roll in the next toilet. What have we got here? Observe and conserve. A sign down there. We've got the picnic bench outside. Isn't that beautiful? And we go over this direction which we started from. We have the firing. We have a couple of low logs for people to sit on and some stones and these put there. But we're still mid-March and we're on fire ban season. So no fires allowed until at least the end of March. And they may extend that further depending on the temperatures. Now toilets, if I remember, are up this way. The toilets here are drop toilets. They're not flushing, they're not connected to the water or the mains water supplies. So it's just composting toilets. So use only the toilet paper. No wet wipes because that will destroy the composting. And ladies, if it's that time of the month you need to carry them out with you as that will destroy the composting too. And I think I'll move. Oh no, I can see the toilet. So the distance of where this one is. No chemicals down the toilets. Because again, the chemicals will destroy the compost. I'm actually walking through some of the tent pitches here to get to the toilet the way I've come. But that's okay. You just see the toilet in the distance there. And this one by the looks of it has got a small water tank on it. So you've got the sign say toilet and tent pitches this way. I'll take the shortcut and go this way. Come from behind the toilet. 
I don't know if it's going to be any good for drinking that toilet or if it's just there for when they come to clean the toilets. And there's the toilet. And there's toilet paper provided here. It's not the general rule for toilet paper. You're meant to carry your own in, but the child angels, they bring and drop off toilet roll when they can. And thank them very much for that. And then other hikers leave behind too, what they don't need. And if you're sitting here on your own, there's your loo with a view. Now, let's go back and search out the tent pitches. We walk past some, so we'll probably come back to them in another direction. So we'll follow the sign, shall we? <coughs> Excuse me. See, it's, it's just lovely here. I remember a few years back when we had some bad storms and I'd made it to shelter. And I had a young kangaroo playing peekaboo playing one side of the shelter, popping his head around looking at me. Then the next side, then the next side, and still the storm started and he didn't know it did a runner. But uh, that was a great experience. Here's one pitch. Now we have got a route going straight through this one. But we've got enough room that side and even that side to squeeze uh, an average hiking tent in. And when I say a hiker's tent, I'm um, using the size of the average two-person hiker's tent. So, not much gravel, a little bit high there. The ground's a bit hard. So make sure you've got some good stakes to get them to get in. Um, starting with the north, the ground is hard, but the further south you go, it seems to get softer. So if you're doing an end-to-end, -end, you may need two sets of pegs. And there's another one, which is a little bit bumpy, but we have a good tent with a decent ground sheet underneath to protect it and a decent sleep mat. That should be pretty good. You could possibly fit three average hikers tents in there. And look at the view you got. Just fantastic. Let's go over to the next one. It's over here on the right. And another decent sized tent pitch. I never actually looked at the tent pitches before because I always stopped in the shelter when I stayed here but look at that. Probably get one, two, three, maybe you squeeze four. Oh, you've got a bit of a stump there, so I'd say three average two person hiking tents you could squeeze on that one. Really nice. Or if you just want it to yourself and you got a palace. Looking over there, I think that probably used to be one, but I think the brush has taken that one back. There's no more on this side. We've got the picnic bench over there, I pointed out earlier. And let's go this way which is up to the toilets it's signed for and we walk past some tent pitches this side well, there's one another decent sized one easy fit two on there oh, we've got a couple of ant hills coming up ant hills, not ants but that's okay there's another track just there, let's go see where that one goes.
There's a little tracks going over there, isn't it? Beautiful. Hey. Here's another pitch. Oh, a bit bumpy. I think there's enough room for one just on that side. To uh, be level, one tent. And let's follow this little track. I think we looked at that one. Or is that part of the access road bit? Let's go and have a look. Yeah, that's the access road. I suppose you could put <laughs> a few tents along that, if need be. And let's come up to this next one. Again, a decent size, fairly level. Bit of, bit of a runoff down that direction. But still big enough for two tents on there. And that's it, I believe. Oh, is that a track going up Ah, we've got another one. Right, let's keep going and keep looking. Don't give in. Yeah, it's a bit bumpy this one. The ants have been digging, but you could fit two if you don't mind, like a bit of decent sleep mat, or one comfortably on that. Eh, maybe. Let's go and have a look. Just in case there's any more. <coughs> now, let's just see access road there. Oh, that's okay. Let's go back down. This is a, a, a nice one, this. I think it's one of my favourites. This is the first one I really enjoyed and felt like it was special. So, yeah, it's just... People say they like the new rammed earth ones because they're all modern and clean and all this massive, giant and big. But I don't think they've got any, any soul to them. They just don't feel the way they should. But we've got the wooden ones here, especially here, we've got the actual tree chunks. Yeah, it's just got that feeling where you could stay here a week or more. It just feels great. And like I said, with the view, you've got the small creek that runs down there in wet season. I'll be dry now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell and select all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.